In today's video, we'll be doing a full review of Jarvis AI's new lower plan options. We'll be looking at all of the features that are included in each plan, including the usage, the templates, the number of words, and all of the other features that are included in the plan. And we'll take a look at this from an unbiased opinion and really look at the pros and the cons of this new pricing structure and figure out whether or not this monthly price is justifiable and is worth it for your business. So before we get into the new pricing structure, let's quickly take a look at what exactly is Jarvis AI. So if you're not familiar as to what Jarvis is, essentially it's an AI copywriter and it allows you to write content using AI technology. So depending on the plan that you're on with Jarvis AI, you'll have access to a variety of different templates. And essentially each one of these templates will allow you to write content. So just depending on whether or not you're writing short or long form copy, you can choose that template. And in that template, you'll have to include a couple inputs depending on the product or the description um, of the product that you're writing about. And once you include those uh, inputs, you then click generate AI content and the AI will give you content based on your input and based on the goal of the template that you choose. So for instance, if we're doing a product description, we would uh, include our product here and then we'd describe the product in this section below. So once you describe the product, then we just go ahead and click generate AI content and the AI will give us some content based on what we inputted. So as you can see, we got a pretty good output based on our product and this would work for any product or service in which you would like a description for. And most of these templates are for if you're writing short form copy. So for instance, if you're doing a Facebook ad, a Google ad, a product description, or an Amazon product listing and so on and so forth. But the long form assistant, which is only included in the boss mode plan, allows you to write long form content. So you're able to write blog posts, you're able to write eBooks, and any other sort of long form content that you need to write about. So to use the long form assistant, you'll just go ahead and choose that template and you can start from scratch or you can use the blog post workflow. Now, if you use the workflow, what this is going to do is it's going to generate a title and an intro paragraph for you. So let's say we're writing a blog post about the top five cryptocurrencies to buy in 2022. So what I would do is I would start by describing the content. Okay, so I've described the content that we wanna write about. So the best or top five cryptocurrencies to invest in 2022 if you wanna make crazy returns. Now, you obviously wanna describe your content um, pretty good because the quality of input that you give the AI reflects the quality of output that you get from the AI. So you do need to feed it some good um, sort of content. But we're just doing an example here, so I'm just gonna go ahead with that. Uh, we're gonna choose your title as well. So you just click Generate AI um, Title and based upon your input, we get a couple titles here. So five must have cryptocurrencies for investment portfolio in 2022, I like that one. Um, so let's use that and then we'll click generate intro paragraph. So once we um, generate intro paragraphs, if we're not happy with the first three inputs that we get, you can click generate more outputs and then you would actually get more um, intro paragraphs. So you can always read through these and sometimes you'll find that one is really good than the other and you can just go ahead and use that. But most often or not, I usually find that you may find um, some good copy from one and you can take it and use it in the other. So just read through these and use whichever one you like the best. So I think this one's pretty good. So I'm gonna use this one here and then I'm going to click uh, open editor. So from the editor, this is where you really have a lot of functionality in terms of sort of formatting and writing your blog post. So as we can see, it's already started with a number one um, cryptocurrency, which is Bitcoin. But, but as you can see, there's not really any other um, cryptocurrencies listed here. And the cool thing is, is within the long form assistant, you can go ahead to the power mode and the power mode will then give you access to all of the other uh, short form copy templates. So because we're writing a blog post, we're gonna go ahead to blog post outline and what we're gonna do is we're going to then describe our blog post. Okay, so top five cryptocurrencies to invest in, and then we're gonna click generate AI content. And as you can see, we have a couple list of uh, popular cryptocurrencies. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this and then boom, paste it into here. 
So now it's just a matter of filling in the content um, for each one of our subtopics. And to do this, I'll just show you very quickly. And once you have your subtopics, then you wanna copy the subtopic. And then I usually go back into the content brief and the content description. And the reason why we're doing this is because our content description or content brief was based upon the top five cryptocurrencies to invest in. Uh, we're going to want to update this so that our output is reflective of our new subtopic. And I'm just gonna give the AI a little bit of an input here, sort of start the sentence. And then I'm going to then click compose and let the AI do its thing. So you'd wanna go ahead and just um, repeat this process for all of your subtopics. And when it's time to conclude your blog post, you can even go ahead and head over to the blog post conclusion paragraph template, copy your intro paragraph, that's usually what I do, and let the AI do its thing. And as you can see, you get some pretty good conclusion paragraphs. So you don't even have to think about what you're gonna write in your conclusion. So as you can see, the long form assistant is really powerful and really effective at creating very high quality blog posts. And you can even integrate this with Surfer SEO and start optimizing your content while you're creating it. So as you can see, it makes for a really powerful tool when creating your long form blog post. And if you wanna see a full tutorial of how to use Jarvis AI, then I'll leave a link in the description below because we've already created a couple of videos um, around using Jarvis AI. Okay, so let's get into the pricing. The main difference between the new pricing structure compared to the old one is that now there's no unlimited plan. So previously you had the starter and the boss mode, but instead of being on a usage based model, it was the starter and then you had the boss mode, which was unlimited. So you were able to generate an unlimited amount of words, but the price was a little bit higher. So the boss mode was $119 per month and you didn't have an option for any lower plans. And I believe the starter plan was around the same pricing, but again, you had unlimited words that you could generate. And there's definitely some pros and cons to this new pricing structure. So obviously a pro is that now you can start using the boss mode or try out Jarvis for a lot less than what you previously would have to pay. The lowest price for the boss mode, which is where you'll be able to create blog posts and have access to the long form assistant was $119 per month. And that price went was pretty steep. And a lot of people complained because, you know, 120 USD dollars per month is pretty expensive and not everyone can afford that. So now with the new pricing, you can get in for a lower um, sort of monthly cost. And then if you need more words, you can always upgrade after the fact. So the starter plan now starts at $29 per month. And this gives you 20,000 words. And the main difference between the starter and the boss mode is that in the starter plan, you don't have access to the long form assistant. So I believe you have access to all of the other uh, templates in which you can do a lot of short form copy. But in terms of creating blog posts or writing eBooks, um, you wouldn't have access to the long form assistant and the AI quality is a little less in the starter plan. And you don't have access to the surfer SEO integrations or the Jarvis commands. So if you're just creating short form copy and you're just looking to do product descriptions, website copy, paid advertising, or different short form copies, then the starter plan with 20,000 words should be okay. But I really do think the value that's within Jarvis is in its ability to create long form content and the use of the long form assistant template. So the boss mode now starts at $59 per month. And in that $59, you get 50,000 words. So what that means is you can generate up to 50,000 words per month. So that means if you're using the long form assistant or any other template, once you click compose and the AI composes um, that content, every single one of these words counts towards your content generation for that month. So again, as you can see, um, the more that you generate content, the more that's going to sort of eat up the 15,000 word credits that you have for that month. And even when you're using other templates, such as the blog post conclusion paragraph, when you're uh, creating content here or generating AI content, all of these outputs would add towards the amount of words that you're able to generate 
for that month. So the good thing is you can always change these inputs. So you can now change it to one um, if you like. So just to make sure that you're not wasting any of the content generations or the word generations that you have. So with the new pricing structure and the limited amount of words that you have per month, this does sort of pose a problem because not always is the AI going to give you great content. Sometimes it does give you exactly what you're looking for, but other times you may have to, you know, sort of lead the AI in the right direction. You may have to delete a lot of the content. So when you're on a plan that has a limited usage, you're going to have to be very careful when creating your outputs. So a good way in which you can reduce wastage of your words, again, is by decreasing the output whenever you're doing any short form templates. And when you're writing your content, you always wanna make sure that you're updating your title, your content descriptions. And then what I like to do is start the sentence and then let the AI finish it as well. And by doing those things, um, you can really minimize the amount of wasted words that you have per month. So that would definitely be a drawback towards using a limited plan. You have to be very careful when you're using the AI and especially if you're a beginner, um, you may not know how to get the best output. So you may run into some wastage at least in your first month or so. But again, it's a great price point for you to get started using Jarvis AI. So with the new boss mode pricing models, here's sort of how it works. Um, for $59.99 per month, you'll be able to have 50K words um, generated for that month. If you go over, then you may be charged overage fees. So just be very careful with the words um, that you're generating. For $99 per month, you then have access to 100K words. Um, again, if you go over, then you may be charged. And for $279 uh, per month, you'll have access to 300K words. And there's also some bigger plans uh, for more words if you need that as well. So is Jarvis AI still worth it? Well, let's take a look at how many words um, you have to generate each month and how many articles you think you can get out of those words. So for instance, if you're on the basic plan and you have access to 50K words, let's see on average how many articles you can create. So today Jarvis says that I've generated about 6,000 words. And earlier within the day, I wrote two 1,000 word blog posts. Now for both of the blog posts, I use all AI generated content. And for this tutorial, we used Jarvis and we wrote about 400 words. Now I, I do think that this is a little skewed. This definitely seems like it's too many words generated. I did create some content yesterday, um, but it says zero. So it may have carried over to today. So let's say I wrote about 3,500 words um, and I generated about 6,000 words. That means um, 6,000 words generated using the AI will give us about three or four 800 to a 1,000 word blog post. So that means approximately if we generate 18 to 1,900 words, we will be able to get a 1,000 word blog post. And using those numbers, and let's say we stay consistent, in terms of the words that we generate and the articles that we write, then on average, you should be able to write about 25 to maybe 30 1,000 word blog post on this plan. On this plan, if you have a 15,000 word limit, I'm pretty sure if a writer offered a rate of $60 per month and wrote 20 or even 15 articles, uh, they'd be a very busy writer. So. So for the most part, if you're able to get even 10 to 15 uh, high quality 1000 word blog posts each month, then Jarvis AI is well worth the investment. But nonetheless, I still think Jarvis is a great investment for any blogger, especially if you're creating high quality content and you need to get a lot of content out quickly. We'll leave a link below this video in which you can sign up and get a five day free trial for Jarvis AI.